situations. And as we go along, you'll find out that the work will get harder as we go along. We're going to start off by looking at um, solving one-step linear equations, then we're going to solve two-step linear equations, and then we're going to solve equations that are known on both sides, and we'll bring in brackets later on. Okay, so we start off nice and easy. We'll start off with um, solving one-step linear equations. Now, solving equations is all about doing the inverse. Okay, and the way I solve equations is I like to get x's on one side of the equals and numbers on one side. So if you look at the first example, the first example, we've got x plus 3 on one side and we've got 10 on one side. We want x's on one side and we want numbers on the other side. The best thing to get rid of or eliminate is the 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite of what the 3 is doing. Instead of adding on 3, we're going to take away 3 from both sides. And if you take away 3 from both sides, this is what you end up with. And that's your answer. Okay, nice and easy. All right, let's look at the second one. We want x's on one side and we want numbers on one side. We've got x minus 3 is equal to 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate the negative 3. Negative 3, we have to add 3 to both sides. If I add 3 to both sides, this is what I get. Okay. I get x is equal to 13. And that's your answer. Nice and easy. One step linear equations. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple to try. OK, so what you need to do is just pause and then um, once you've done, press play and then the answer should show. All right, here are the answers. OK, hopefully you, you didn't struggle too much with those ones. OK, those are nice, easy um, one step linear equations. OK, now what we're going to do is we're going to extend this a bit. All right. So we're now going to bring in the negatives and some fractions, but it works the same way. So if you look at the first one, you've got a negative seven on the left hand side, which we want to eliminate. Now, to eliminate that negative seven, we're going to add seven to both sides. And if I add seven to both sides, OK, what's going to happen is this negative 7 on the left hand side is going to disappear. And if I add 7 to the right hand side, this is what's going to happen. All right. You can pause these and then work through these and see how you do. OK, and play when you finish. OK, here are the rest of the answers. OK, hopefully you didn't find those too hard. OK, let's move this on. All right, so if you didn't struggle too much with the um, first part, which was the one step linear equations, let's look at solving two step linear equations. OK, so it just means there are two things you, you need to do. OK, so let's go through two examples here. Let's start with the first one. The first one, we got 4x plus 3 is equal to 15. What we need is we need x's on one side and numbers on one side. So if you look on the left hand side, we've got a three and on the right hand side, we've got a 15. We need the numbers together and the X's on one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to get four X on one side and we're going to get a number on the other side. So positive three, take away three from both sides. This is what happens. OK, so four X plus three, take away three will give you four X and 15 take away three will give you 12. Now we're saying four X is equal to 12. What do you do next? If four X is equal to 12, then one X must be 12 divided by four. OK, so we're going to divide by that four and X is equal to three. Let's look at the next one. Four X minus three is equal to 15. OK. Now, we want x's on one side and we want numbers on one side. OK, we've got the 4x where we want it. That negative 3, we need to eliminate that negative 3. And what we need to do is add on 3 to both sides. OK, so that negative 3 has to disappear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to both sides. And if I add it to both sides, you get 4x is equal to 18. All right, we're now at the final stage of this. Um, if 4x is equal to 18, one of the x's must be 18 divided by 4. 
18 divided by 4 if you know your fractions x is equal to 4.5 okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a few seconds to have some practice before I give you more questions to do so you can pause this video work through this and see how you do all right here are some answers x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 3 all right I'm going to give you a couple of um, questions to do and see how you go all right so remember to pause the video and then I'll show you answers after you finish all right and here are the answers let's see how you've done okay hopefully those weren't too hard those are two-step um, linear equations solving two-step linear equations okay now let's take this a bit further now the first one is similar to what we've been doing but the second one and so on look slightly different but they do follow the same lines if you look at the second question even though the three is the second term in I mean, I mean is the first term in you still eliminate it from both sides and see how you go so pause this video work through it and see what you all right here are the answers Okay, and I hope um, these weren't too hard for you, but what you could do is you could go back and work through them and see where your mistakes were, okay? All right, now, how about we include um, some fractions in here, okay? Give these a try, these are a bit of an extension. Give these a try and see how you do with these ones, okay? So pause and play after you've um, finished. And here are the answers. And if you did these, well done. Okay, so you know how to solve two-step linear equations. All right, so let's look at brackets. Now, there are several ways you can do this. We can either expand the brackets or we can decide that the number outside the bracket is the first one we need to eliminate. Now, hopefully most of you know that if there's a number outside the bracket, it means times what's in the bracket. And what we're going to do is we're going to do and the inverse okay so instead of multiplying by 3 we're going to divide both sides by 3 now if I divide by 3 this is what I end up with okay so the first side divided by 3 eliminates that 3 the second side divided by 3 which is the right hand side divided by 3 gives us 12 now remember your one step linear equations all we have to do now is take away 10 from both sides take away 10 from both sides okay and this is what we end up with x is equal to 2 we found out what x is we've solved that one now let's look at the second one so remember there's a number outside the bracket okay we divide both sides by 3 okay so the left hand side divided by 3 because that's what's outside the bracket the right hand side divided by 3 that's what you get okay and now all we need to do is get rid of the 9 okay so we're going to eliminate the 9 by taking away 9 from both sides because it's a positive 9 we take away 9 so and this is what you end up with x is equal to 3 and that's your answer and if you wanted to find out if you've done these right all you have to do is substitute back into the original equations and see if you've got these right okay all right so how about we give some of these a try so pause and play when you finish all right here are the answers let's see how you've done okay and hopefully you managed to get some of these right or possibly all of them right okay and if you didn't all you have to do is just go back and try working through them again all right okay let's move on you want to try these these are also with brackets but some of them look different to the ones we've done previously but they do work out the same way okay so the first one is similar to the ones we've been doing but if you look at the second one okay we've got the 40 on one side and we've got the bracket on the right hand side of our equals but it does work the same way what you're going to do is you're going to divide by five both sides by five and then work from there okay so pause this video and play after you've finished
Okay, here are the answers. Okay, and hoping you did well in these two. All right, and as I've said before, if you didn't get them right the first time, you can always go back and work through them. And a bit of an extension, well, not an extension, it's really covering most of what we've done so far. So give these a try. So pause and play when you finish. Here are the answers. Okay, and if you've got these right, it means you've kind of understood what we've done so far up to this point. All right, so now let's look at solving linear equations with variables on both sides, okay? So at the moment we've been solving linear equations, one step, two steps with variables on only one side. Let's look at solving with variables where the X is on both sides, okay? Now, if you manage to solve the um, first couple of questions, you shouldn't struggle too much with these. All right, so let's look at this one first. Okay, so we've got two X plus three and we've got equals two X plus five. Now, the best way to solve these, okay, is to think about what you want to eliminate, okay? Or think about what you want to keep on each side. My advice is this. Keep the larger X where it is and the smaller X you eliminate, okay? So the larger X in this case is your 2X. So I'm going to keep that where it is on the left-hand side, which means the X on the right-hand side will have to go. Okay, so we're going to eliminate that. And then if I'm keeping the X's on the left hand side in this case, then I'm going to keep the numbers on the right hand side, which means the number on the right hand side, the five will not be eliminated. That tells me that I'm going to have to eliminate X from the right hand side and three from the left hand side. So let's start by eliminating the X first. And if you eliminate the x, okay, so 2x take away x is x, and you've got x plus 3 on the left-hand side, and you've got 5 on the right-hand side. Now we're going to deal with the number, okay? So now we've got our one-step equation to solve. Take away 3 from both sides. Nice and easy. There's your answer. All right, let's do another one. This time, okay, we're going to have to decide again which ones we want to leave where. All right, so... As I said, leave the larger x value, okay, the larger variable where it is. This time, 3x is on the left-hand side, so I'm going to leave that there. And therefore, we're going to have numbers on the right-hand side. So that's going to be there, which tells me I'm going to take x from both sides. All right, so 3x take away x is 2x. We're left with a 3, and then the x on the right-hand side is gone. Now we've got a two-step equation to solve. I'm going to eliminate 3 from both sides by subtracting 3 from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 3 from the left-hand side, subtract 3 from the right-hand side. So now we've got 2x is equal to 2. We haven't found out what x is equal to. So 2x is equal to 2, x is equal to 1. And you've solved it. And if you've got time, what you can do is always substitute back in and see if it works. Okay. All right. Um, seems something's wrong with this here but that's the answer there you could try and figure out how I got that answer okay um, now here are some to solve so pause and um, play when you finished Okay, I hope you didn't do too badly here, but those are the answers, and um, if you didn't do too well in them, you can always go back and try them again. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. All right, next page we've got some extensions, so give these a try. Pause and play when you finish. And here are the answers. Okay, so we're going to solve equations with brackets on both sides. So we've got the unknown on both sides, but also we've got brackets involved in these questions. So here's an example. Now, for this one, I would advise you to 
expand the brackets first okay so if we expand the brackets which is, is multiplying out the brackets you get these answers okay so two times the left hand side you get 6x minus 2 and three times the right hand side so we've opened up our brackets now remember what i said leave the larger x where it is okay and eliminate the smaller x value so i know that i'm going to keep 6x on the left hand side and i'm going to keep six on the right hand side so letters were on one side numbers on one side and then i'm going to start solving okay so i'm going to take 3x from both sides okay and if i take 3x from both sides this is what i end up with so 6x take away 3x gives you 3x the negative 2 is not touched 3x is um eliminated from the right hand side okay now we've got a two-step equation we've got a negative 2 Instead of taking away 2, we're going to add 2 to both sides. And if I add 2 to both sides, this is what I get. We've got 3x is equal to 8. If you've got 3x is equal to 8, one of the x's must be 8 divided by 3, which is 2 and 2 thirds. Because 8 goes into 3, 2 times the remainder 2, and your denominator is 3. Okay, so there's that example. And here are a couple of questions for you to do. And I've mistakenly shown you the first answer. Okay, so have a go. And when you finish, press play. Here we go. Here are the answers. And the extensions. Okay. And hopefully you didn't struggle too much with those. But if you've done all those and got most of them right, well done you. And extensions for you to do. Okay, so we've got negatives to do. But be careful with those negatives. Remember, you always do the opposite operation. Okay, all right, have a go and see how you do. Here are the answers. And that's it for now, folks. Have a good day. Bye.